हेलो व्यूअर्स इन टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम डिफ्रेंसिएशन राइट एंड हेयर इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द डेरिवेटिव ऑफ मॉड फंक्शंस ऑफ दीज थ्री ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक फंक्शंस दैट इज साइन एक्स कॉस एक्स एंड टेन एक्स राइट so this video is going to be uh, dedicated to the beginners and here i will make use of some important uh, concept from trigonometry uh, to get the derivatives of mod of sin x mod of cos x and mod of tan x uh, at the required uh, points right so let us start and let us solve these problems one by one so let us first take this problem so here we have uh, the function y is equal to mod of sin x right now here in these three problems uh, what we will do uh, we will uh, make use of the definition of mod function right so let us quickly revisit the definition of mod function so the mod function goes like this if we have mod of p then mod of p is always positive p whenever p is greater than or equal to 0 right and mod of p is equal to negative p whenever p is less than 0 right so when inside the mod symbol the quantity is uh, negative then mod p is equal to negative p right and when the quantity inside the mod symbol uh, is positive then mod of p is the positive p right so here p is greater than or equal to uh, zero right so we'll make use of this definition uh, while solving uh, these three uh, problems so here we have y is equal to mod of sin x right so p is uh, sin x now see uh, we wish to find out the derivative at this point that is x is equal to uh, 5 pi by 4 right and we can write this angle that is x is equal to 5 pi by 4 as pi plus pi by 4 right so we can see that uh, this value of x it lies in the third quadrant right suppose here we have the quadrants this is first this is uh, second and this is third and this is fourth right so this angle 5 pi by 4 it lies in the third quadrant and from trigonometry we know that in the third quadrant uh, sine function uh, is the negative right so here y is equal to mod of x right and sin x is negative right because here uh, we uh, want to find out the derivative at x is equal to 5 pi by 4 and this angle 5 pi by 4 it lies in the third quadrant so we need to search for the sine of sin x in the third quadrant right and in the third quadrant sine function is negative so when the quantity inside the mod symbol sign is negative uh, then we have uh, by definition of mod function mod of p is minus p so here we have negative of uh, sine x right so now we have y is equal to negative of sine x right so now let us differentiate both sides so uh, dy over dx is equal to uh, negative of cos x because the derivative of sin x is cosine x right and now we uh, want to find the derivative at this point so we'll uh, substitute x is equal to 5 pi by 4 in this expression so we have minus cos 5 pi by 4 right now we can uh, write this angle as pi plus pi by 4 right and from trigonometry we know that uh, cos of pi plus theta cos of pi plus theta is equal to negative of cos theta right so here we have minus and we have minus cos of pi by 4 right so this is uh, theta right 
so this is minus minus plus so we have positive cos pi by 4 and cos 45 degrees is 1 over square root of 2 right so the derivative that is dy over dx at x is equal to 5 pi by 4 is equal to 1 over square root of 2 and we can see that uh, this derivative is uh, positive now let us take the second problem so here we have y is equal to mod of cos x right and the point at which we have to find the derivative is x is equal to uh, 2 pi by 3 right and 2 pi by 3 can be written as pi minus pi by 3 right so if we uh, draw the quadrants here this is first this is second this is third this is fourth right then pi so here we have 0 here we have pi by 2 here we have pi and here we have 3 pi by 2 and this is 2 pi right so uh, x is equal to 2 pi by 3 it lies in the second quadrant right so here uh, we know that from trigonometric uh, functions uh, if uh, the angle lies in the second quadrant uh, then the cosine function is negative in the uh, second quadrant so the cos function is negative in the second quadrant and again by uh, the definition of mod function when the quantity inside the uh, mod function symbol is the negative uh, that is p is less than 0 then mod of p is equal to minus p right and the cosine function is negative so we have here minus of cos x right so y is equal to minus of cos x and now we can differentiate both sides so dy over dx is equal to minus and the derivative of cos x is minus sin x right so we have positive sin x now uh, we want to find out the derivative at x is equal to 2 pi by 3 so here we'll substitute x is equal to 2 pi by 3 so we'll get uh, sine uh, 2 pi by 3 and uh, this angle can be written as pi minus pi by 3 right and from trigonometry uh, we know that the sine of pi minus theta is simply sine theta right so this angle is theta so we have uh, sine of pi by 3 right and this is sine 60 degrees so we have a square root of 3 over 2 because the value of sine 60 degrees is square root of 3 divided by 2 right so the derivative of y is equal to mod x mod of cos x at x is equal to 2 pi by 3 uh, is equal to root 3 by uh, 2 right so this is square root of 3 over 2 now let us take the third problem so here we have y is equal to mod of uh, tan x right now see again uh, we'll uh, here draw the quadrants this is first this is second this is third this is fourth and here we have 0 pi by 2 pi 3 pi by 2 and 2 pi right okay now uh, here uh, we uh, wish to find out the derivative at x is equal to uh, 5 pi by 6 right and 5 pi by 6 can be written as pi minus pi by 6 right now we can see that uh, this angle uh, also lies in the second quadrant right so x lies in the second quadrant and we know that uh, from the sign convention of trigonometric functions thus in the second quadrant the tan function is the negative right so the sign uh, the tan function is negative in the second quadrant so by definition of mod function uh, we have a mod of tan x is equal to negative of tan x right because see uh, when the quantity inside the uh, mod symbol is negative for some values of uh, p 
uh, or here in this case it is x so mod of p is equal to negative of p right so y is equal to we have negative of 10x so now differentiating both sides so we have dy over dx is equal to negative of uh, secant square x because the derivative of 10x is secant square x now at this point that is x is equal to 5 pi by 6 we have the derivative as a secant square 5 pi by 6 so we can write it as minus 1 over cos square 5 pi by 6 right now let us separately find out the value of cos 5 pi by 6 so cos 5 pi by 6 can be written as cos uh, pi minus pi by 6 right and we know that cos of pi minus theta is equal to negative of cos theta so here we have theta right so cos of pi minus pi by 6 is the negative of cos pi by 6 and this is a negative uh, cos of uh, 30 degrees right and now the value of uh, cosine 30 degrees is square root of 3 over 2, right? So here uh, we have cos square of 5 pi by 6. So therefore cos square 5 pi by 6 is square of root 3 over uh, 2. So this is uh, 3 over 4, right? So here we have minus 1 and this uh, value is 3 over 4 so this is minus 4 over 3 right so the value of the derivative of y is equal to mod of tan x at x is equal to 5 pi by 6 is minus uh, 4 over 3 so we can write it like this dy over dx at x is equal to 5 pi by 6 is equal to uh, minus 4 over 3 so viewers this is how we can solve these type of problems right so uh, in the end uh, let us quickly see the sign conventions of uh, trigonometric functions right now see in the first quadrant uh, all the trigonometric functions are positive right so all the six trigonometric functions are positive in the first quadrant right so here we have 0 here we have pi by 2 here we have pi this is 3 pi by 2 and this is 2 pi right so in the first quadrant all the uh, trigonometric functions are positive in the second quadrant only the sine function and the cosec function right so only the sine function and the cosec function are positive right so here all positive and in the third quadrant only the tan function and the cot function so the tangent function and the cotangent function are positive in the third quadrant right and in the fourth quadrant uh, only the cosine function and the sec function are positive right so in the first quadrant all the trigonometric functions are positive in the second only sine and cosine function are positive and the uh, other four uh, trigonometric functions are negative in the third quadrant uh, only the tangent and cotangent functions are positive and the other four um, trigonometric functions are negative and in the fourth quadrant only the cosine and the secant function are positive right